Hi, my name is Peach. Welcome back to another MoGraph Monday. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this tapered line in DaVinci Resolve. To start off, what we're going to do is grab a Fusion Clip from our effects library, drag it on our timeline. This clip is one second long, 24 frames, and we're going to go inside the Fusion Clip. Once we're here, the first thing we're going to add is a B spline node to shift space B spline. We're going to put that in our viewer so we can see it, and then we're going to draw our line path. I'm just going to start clicking on our viewer to have a path that we like. Let's try and make it as smooth as possible. Once you're happy with your path, and you can go to the inspector and uncheck the solid box and increase your border width so you can start seeing the line. The next thing we're going to do is go down to our position. Then we go at the start of our comp, we're going to keyframe it at zero. And at the end of our comp, we're going to keyframe it and then change the value to one. And we're going to change our length so it's something make the line smaller so like this should be fine all right now we have our animation next thing we're going to do is very important for the tapered line where you're going to go to our settings tab then we're going to check the motion blur on and then we're going to change the values here change the quality to 20 we're going to change the shutter angle to 1400 and then we're going to change the sample spread to 2.5 then we should have something that looks like this now what we're going to do is add a bitmap node put it on our graph and we're going to connect the B spline to our bitmap. We can hold down alt and click the image and it's going to go to the yellow input there. And then we're going to view our bitmap by hitting two or just viewing it right here. Then we're going to bring down the this high slider around where it's about 0.25 and then we're going to increase the soft edge something like this. Now it looks like a little bit more of a streak. Then we're going to add another bitmap node put it to our bitmap here. Make sure it's on the yellow input. Let's view it. Now we're going to bring this high slider all the way down to zero. Maybe a shape like this. And then the way we're going to fix it is we're going to hit shift space, load, dilate. Connect that to our image part. We're going to change the filter to circle. Then we're going to change the amount all the way down. We need to go further. I do about I think, negative 0 0.03. We can bring it back up until we can see the line. And now we have our tapered line shape just like that. And that's for the most part the tapered line. There are some rules you that you need to follow when using this. As you can see, when it starts off, it doesn't really react good to edges or when the line gets really close together. So let's go like here. We put it like this. If the line is too close together, then it'll start stretching it, which is not what we want, but it will do that. It's just because of the way that we made it. And the way we can fix the edges from reacting like that is go to the end, add a transform and just size up everything just a little bit. And now you can start adding effects and do whatever you want. I'm just going to show you how I do my glow with the rainbow thing that was in the example. So turn this to a background. We're going to change the type to gradient. And then we're going to go to our gradient. So it's over here. We're going to add two more points kind of equidistant from each other. This should be fine. And the first one, we're going to bring the red all the way up. The second one, we're going to bring the red down. We're going to bring the green up and then we're going to bring the blue down. On the third one, we're going to bring the blue all the way up, the green down, and the red down. And then the last one, we're going to bring the red up only. All right. So you have something like this. Then we could see this gradient path, squish it a little bit, and then go down to this repeat where it says once, and we're going to put it to repeat. And so now the gradient will repeat throughout the animation. And now I'm going to add a glow to it. So what I could do is add a background here. We're just going to connect it to the background here. We're going to change this color to white. Then we're going to add a soft glow node, put it below the background, and we're going to connect it, the original background to the soft glow. Something like this. We can adjust the gain like that. Let's do something like that. And then we can copy the soft glow. We can paste it here. And we're not going to connect it yet because in between the background and the soft glow, we're going to put a, a road dilate just like this. We're going to change the filter again to a circle and then connect it to our soft glow. And then we're going to merge these two nodes together. So you have something like this, and then we can view it here. You can see it's very, very bright. So if we turn down our, our road, you can see that the, the white starts to get a little smaller. And then we can see the colored edge. We can also turn down the glow a bit more on the top one. And then we, if we want, we could increase the glow size on the other one or something like this. Should be fine. We'll connect to our media out. That is how you make the tapered line in DaVinci Resolve. If you have any more questions or suggestions of what I should do in the future, please let me know down below in the comment section. If you'd like to join the Resolve AMB Community Discord and the newly added Gilded server, there will be links in the description as well as my own server if you'd like to join. And with that, subscribe and have a good day.